Tipping can be a touchy subject, originally meant to acknowledge standout service. Nowadays, the virtual tip jar seems to be everywhere. A recent survey shows tipping for takeout food peaked at the height of the pandemic. While that fell off, many Americans are still tipping nearly 20% for sit-down meals. But gratuities for other goods and services have dropped to about 14%. You know, with the pandemic, everything changed. Curb service, what were meant to be temporary fixes are now standards. So there is a gratuity that is often expected that goes along with that. While you may feel like you're being judged, many experts say the worker behind the counter may just be looking to help the next customer. Ford has unveiled its all-new seventh-generation Mustang. It's all part of the Detroit Auto Show, which returned to the Motor City for the first time in over three years. Attendees were encouraged to wear a tire inspired by their favorite period in Mustang history as a way to celebrate every decade of the car's existence. And top costumes earned prizes. The first prize place winner won a two-year lease for a Mustang GT. Attendees were also being able to see selections from Lincoln as well. The new 2023 Corsair Premium Compact SUV and the Lincoln Star were features at this year's auto show. FedEx isn't feeling too optimistic about the future. The company says a slowing economy will cause it to fall $500 million short of its revenue target. In the U.S., FedEx Ground Service is taking the hit because of the economy. Along with dipping delivery demand, the independent contractors whose employees make all the deliveries are struggling too, saying the rising cost of gas, labor, and new vehicles is causing them to lose money. Some are threatening to halt operations on Black Friday unless FedEx agrees to change their compensation. Stay with us. Summer Schnellbach is back with an update on your weekend weather planner.